will do our strength training for our upper body, focusing on biceps, triceps, shoulders and neck. As a regular cyclist, strength training should be a part of your training routine. Especially for us women, it's really important because we have a lower uh, body muscle mass percentage than men and we build muscle more slowly. So to prevent injuries and to improve our fitness, we have to train our muscles in additional training sessions. And I give you now a few exercises you can do anytime and anywhere. So let's start with our training. We will do five exercises and you have to do three sets of each exercise. The first exercise are dips. Dips on the floor where we train our triceps. So sit down, shoulders over wrists, the fingers are looking forward. Lift your hip and now bend and extend your arms. Inhale when you go down, exhale when you come up. And push your elbows backwards when you go down. Don't push the elbows to your side, okay? Do 8 to 12 reps and repeat this exercise for 3 times. Rest around 30 seconds. The next exercise is for our upper back and our neck. Go in a face down position. Your legs are extended and lay on the floor. Your arms are extended and extra rotated. And now, while you exhale, lift your chest and lift your extended and extra rotated arms pull your chin towards the chest and hold this position then relax and come back again exhale come up hold the position for five to ten seconds and relax lay down really important in this exercise is to squeeze your shoulder plates together okay so when you come up, exhale, squeeze the shoulder plates, hold this position and then relax, come back down. So repeat this eight times for five to ten seconds. The next exercise is an isometric bear hold. I like this exercise because it trains a lot of different muscles. It trains our abs, it trains our back and it trains also our shoulders. You're in a similar position as when you stay on the bike, okay? Elbows over wrists. Again, hips over your knees, then lift your knees, activate your abs and hold this position for 30 to 60 seconds. Important is that you, your back is straight and also your head, so your head and your back should stay in a line. You can add a little variation, I'll show you the variation from this side. Shoulder taps, okay? Same position, lift your knees and now with your hand go to the opposite shoulder important on this exercise is that while you're tapping your shoulders your hips are not rocking from side to side so you have to activate a lot your abs and your glutes to hold this firm position do 10 to 20 taps okay you decide it depends on your fitness level another important exercise for our back and our neck are superman reach outs and semicircles we do with our arms so come back in a face down position legs are again extended but lay on the floor squeeze your glutes extend your arms and do 10 semicircles okay so this is one two and so on also here concentrate to squeeze your shoulder plates when you go back with your arms then without resting do superman reach outs so bend and extend your arms. Inhale when you bend, exhale when you extend. Then rest 30 to 60 seconds and repeat the exercise. For our biceps, we do a bicep curl. So find a bar, find a, a door frame, or in my case, a tree you can grab with both hands. Start with extended arms. Now, while you exhale, Bend your arms, squeeze your bicep, and pull your body up. Exhale, come up, inhale when you come back. Do this exercise for 10 to 15 times and repeat the exercise for three sets.